Broadcasting live from the Rogers Arena in Vancouver, it's the 2018 Juno Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, from Rush, the one and only Getty Lee. Hello. Like many other Canadians, I first became aware of bare naked ladies through a typically bare naked quirky way. They were booked to play at the 1991 New Year's Eve show at Toronto's Nathan Phillips Square, but it was a gig that never happened. The mayor banned them as she thought their name was politically incorrect. It became a national news item, and only two years later, they sold out four nights at Toronto's Massey Hall. Astounding. It beat Russia's then record of sold out shows at the venue, so naturally, we sent them a bottle of champagne to celebrate the occasion. When they broke in America, 80,000 people turned up to a free concert in downtown Boston. Lurking beneath those big radio and TV hits are a number of special attributes that set this band apart. One is their adventurous songwriting spirit, evidenced both lyrically and musically and abundantly displayed throughout their entire repertoire. Two, they possess a definite sense of where they are from. That sense that ex of humor that exists in our home and native land, eh? <laughs> And finally, something that I believe flies under the radar with BNL is what effin' great musicians they all are. Each with their own terrific grasp of their instruments. It is an honor to induct these guys into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame. 30 years and still going strong, bare naked ladies. It's been 30 years since schoolboy friends Ed Robertson and Stephen Page formed Bare Naked Ladies. Since then, the band has sold over 15 million albums. They've even had an ice cream named after them. They've also written a theme song to an historic sitcom. It all started with a big bang. Our career is like in chunks. There was pre-Gordon and that scrappy sort of band touring thing. You find the huge in Canada stage. The band's debut album, Gordon, sold a stunning one million copies in Canada alone. We played for years under the radar in the United States, just slowly building our audience. And boom, things exploded in America. It was the old apartment video that, uh, that broke them in America. Although the old apartment video was directed by some hack director, and then Stunt came out and was huge. What is happening here? In 2009, Stephen Page left the band and embarked on a successful solo career. The band did not miss a beat, releasing a series of new albums. Congratulations to our friends, the Bare Naked Ladies. Congratulations on this honor. You're my favorite band. It's a great achievement. Congratulations, fellas. So very well deserved. Enjoy every moment. Please welcome Bare Naked Ladies to the stage. This is an incredible honor, and I share it with my parents, Bob and Sandy, my wife, Jill, my beautiful daughters, Millie, Hazel, and Carmen. Uh, shout out to my teammates on the Jokers Hockey Club. 
Yeah, the Valley Sprats, uh, my BFF Steve Pitkin, who helped me follow my drum dreams all the way to the Hall of Freaking Fame. This band would not exist without public school music education. We all want to thank our music teachers, all of them. Mom, Dad, Anna, Finn, Chloe, you inspire me every day. And I'd also like to thank my lifelong music partner, brother, and bare naked lady alumni, Andy Cregan. Guys, I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> That's not me, I'm not doing it. Thank you guys for the chance to make music with you for 20 years. I'm so proud of everything we've done together and so happy to be here with you tonight. Thanks to my family, my kids, Isaac, Ben, and Jonah, my wife, Christine, my parents, Victor and Joanne. We all want to thank my dad for taking the risk of starting a record company just so we could release our original five song cassette. And thanks to the CBC for live streaming tonight's show all around the world. Hi. Thanks to the guys for sticking by me as I fought through cancer twice. I love you. Thanks to my old family. Thanks to my mom for the piano lessons. Thanks to my dad for buying me my first synthesizer. Thank you to some of my great teachers. Thanks, Gord Downey. Let's keep the message of truth and reconciliation alive. My cousin Harlan Williams, my friend, my hero, Lou Reed, Yvonne and our amazing daughter, Havana. Thank you so much to my wife, Natalie, my incredible kids whose names escape me. Uh, <laughs> Hannah, Lyle, and Arden, I love you so much. Thanks to our unstoppable manager, Allison Taylor. To our fans, your passion for our music and our shows continues to astound us. And we thank you for this. Thanks to Steve for starting this journey with me and to the guys for continuing it. To any kids out there with a dream, this can happen. So drop out of school as soon as possible. Thank you, Karis. Bob and Bill and Tim, Chris Stapleton, Finn and the best crew in rock and roll. All our managers, past and present. Terry, Dan, Jordan, Nige, Pierre, Allison. Larry Webman, Jeff Craven, Feldman, and my managers, Ray and Cynthia. Patrick Lickman, you got a dental who. Steve Kane and our Warner family. Jason, Jason Priestley. Buddy, please. Sarah McLaughlin. Getty Lee. Seymour Stein, Howie Klein. How about that to me? 